Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Elena and I create new videos every single week. Vlogs, I do makeup, beauty, lifestyle, all of that fun stuff. But today I am going to be showing you a look that Adrienne Houghton did on her channel. And she was talking about spring makeup and you know, what's in for the spring. And she was talking about like really glowy and dewy look. I actually have oily skin, but I'm beginning to think that I have more combination skin because I have redness, I'm dry this winter, which I've never really dealt with a lot. So I'm beginning to think that I'm combination, but I wanted to recreate this look for, you know, all skin types that they could use because I am combination. So I'm gonna be using my daily products. I'm gonna try to do everything in cream products. I'm not gonna set anything. And I'm really just gonna work with what I have and see how the look comes out. I will link her video down below in the description box because it's awesome. She has the best makeup all the time. Her channel is like lifestyle, it's not all makeup, but when she does makeup tutorial, I freak out, I run, and I watch it because I think she is amazing at makeup. We're gonna go ahead and get started creating a cream based makeup look today all right so my hair is crazy like I have yet to straighten it I've yet to decide what I'm gonna do with it for the day so we're just gonna ignore the hair and focus on the makeup but I'm gonna start off by using the physicians formula refreshment cucumber and bamboo eye depuffer you can use it on your eye and you can also use it on your neck so I use it both places I just apply it like a concealer it's really refreshing. You feel like you had a bad night of drinking or eating, you can use it. Or if you just wake up feeling puffy, which I did today. I woke up feeling so sick. I've actually been having quite a few skin issues. Like I have had more breakouts than I'm used to. And I've also had to deal with really a lot of redness. So part of me, I've tried all different skin products. I'm really crazy about making sure that I take care of myself as far as like taking off my makeup, having a good skin routine, having a good makeup removing routine. But I'm gonna start looking into my diet. Next, I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. And it looks like this. It retails for $48 at all I get it. I have extremely dark circles underneath my eyes. You can see them in the camera. But I also have puffiness underneath my eyes which is really frustrating um I don't know if I'm just noticing it or if I'm just like learning how to deal with it but that is my my issues with my skin right now so the first skin product I'm going to go in with is the it cosmetics CC cream so I've used this quite a few times on my channel I talk about it all the time on insta stories this is in the shade medium and I literally use it like a foundation so I just put it right on an elf beauty blender I know that they have their own brushes I have a couple of their foundation brushes, but not the exact brush that they sell that's best to apply this product. They have a different brush for a lot of the products. So I've kind of just kept things simple because Beauty Blender works perfect for me. That's just what I use to apply the foundation. It's not really foundation, it's just a CC cream, but it applies really, really well. And if you haven't watched my last vlog, I am, it should be arriving today. I ordered the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation. So I'm really excited to try that. And I will do a full review the second it comes in because I'm just so excited. All right, so I have it all over my face. I don't do too, too much. I just kind of like spread it out over the areas and then into my hairline because I have a lot of like redness there that needs to be covered and that is what the full coverage looks like of the CC cream now this is blendable that's just one swipe of the product all over my face and just this makes me feel confident enough to walk out the door so if you are someone looking to simplify your beauty routine I'm telling you I used to wear full foundation full concealer full baking contouring everything every day um, I still like to do it sometimes, but I actually feel more confident now with just a little CC cream and a little concealer than I do with a full face of makeup. Next, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I actually just got this a few weeks ago, and this is in the shade Light Beige. And to apply this, I just put it right on the back of my hand, and I just use Probably that much as you can see so it's like a little pin drop and I use one finger on my other hand to really just rub it in I warm it up with my finger I'm just going to I know it looks so like so light but I use my finger to 
really apply it and I use my beauty blender because it's dampened to really just work it into the areas that I want it and that's really really helpful and then I'm gonna go in with the other side okay. and it just brightens up your under eyes. I used to put it on my nose. I actually found that like, in my opinion, it made me look a little too cakey when it was on my nose. So you can see whatever, you know, try whatever you want, but it looks best underneath my eyes. Next up is contouring. So because we're not using any cream products, we're not gonna set the um, concealer and we're going to go in with just a contour stick and not a bronzer. It's going to, apply the contour stick so this is the hula quickie contour stick it's awesome you can get it all sides through benefit and um, i'm just going to apply start with my cheeks i'm going to use the other side of the beauty blender the smaller side and i'm just going to pat it right in there And it just gives me like a little bit of bronze. And then I'm gonna do the same for this. The thing I really like about this contour is that like a warmer base rather than a cool tone. Cool tone looks terrible on me. For some reason, it makes me look gray, like really gray. So I'm just going to contour my forehead. And just really bring it into my hairline so that it looks like a full contour and it actually looks really 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 pretty i like it i'm not going to do my jawline because i'm so fair right now that that'll create a harsh transition line between like the right here and here my neck will look really 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 light and fair so i'm just gonna skip that part but that's what the bronzing looks like and i actually really like the way that it looks like i think it's very 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 pretty the next step would be doing a little bit of highlighter. So I'm going to just set my face with the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing. Take my Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter and this is in the shade Champagne. And I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it. This is a cream to powder highlight. So it is cream, but it kind of dries a little bit powdery. I actually do like rub my finger around in here to warm it up because I feel like it applies better. And I think the highlight looks pretty. I bring it all the way up into like the tail of my brow. And then I'm gonna bring a little bit on my cupid's bow. I love the way it looks on my cupid's bow. And a little on the tip of my nose. Just the tip of my nose because anything more makes my skin, like it makes me look cakey and I don't know why. I've noticed that if I apply highlighter with the wrong brush or if I apply it in the wrong places, I'll look cakey and I don't like that. I'm going to apply the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, Lip Liner. This is in the shade Liar. This is my favorite. So that is what it looks like. I'm gonna top it with the Becca Crystal Lip Topper Glow Gloss in the shade Champagne Dream X Bling. And this gives you that like really pretty glowy look. And then of course, I can't forget about my eyes. So I have eyelash extensions, so I really don't do a ton to my eyes on a daily basis. This is what helps me keep my makeup really, really simple. I'm gonna go in with this rose gold butter highlighter from Physicians Formula. So it's just a different shade of the highlighter that I have. I'm just gonna use my finger just to apply it on my lid because this is my issue. I know my eyelids and they are oilier than ever. Like I could do nothing to them and they're oily by the end of the day. No matter what I do, if I just sit at home. So cream to powder should be fine. Um, you can even set it with like a little translucent powder if you want and it should stay. If you guys like this look, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you think I did her tutorial justice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. Like I said, be sure to give this a thumbs thumbs up, subscribe down below, share this video with a friend who might find this makeup look interesting, and be sure to check out my Instagram, which will be linked down below in the description box. I will see you all soon again in my next video.